the sun is rising on a new era in aviation. And this plane, the Icon A5, is at the forefront of a revolution in flight. The A5 has a pusher configuration. Former Air Force F-16 fighter pilot Kirk Hawkins has built what some have called a jet ski with wings. The Icon A5 lands on water, and with wheels down, it will roll out of the water or touch down on a runway. With the push of a button, the wings unfold. At ICON headquarters in Los Angeles, Hawkins showed us some of the unique features of his new aircraft. Everything about the plane is designed for the total user experience, and that's not just the flying experience, but the time you look at it, the time you touch it, the time you get inside, so you notice the, the, the canopy is very easy to open. Getting inside, getting in the airplane and out the plane is very simple. You'll notice these devices, which are what are called sea wings, now they provide lateral stability when you're on the water. And they also, it's like a ski deck on the back of the boat, so you can get in and out of the water very easily, which is pretty unique. And then on the ground, you can easily get in and out as well. Uh, if you come around, I'll show you the cockpit, and what you'll see here is an instrument panel that's very low, so it has very big windows, mm -hmm. and you have a low dash, so when you're sitting in and flying, you're going, oh my God, this is amazing, because I'm seeing everything, right? It's very reminiscent to me when I flew in the F-16, which is, which is very compelling. Hawkins set out to build the A-5 after the FAA changed the rules by establishing the Sport Pilot License and the LSA, a new category of plane. Now, more people can earn their wings. Flying is just much more accessible than people think it is. The FAA created the Light Sport Aircraft and Sport Pilot License a few years ago, which basically opened up aviation to anybody who's ever dreamed about flying. Under the new rules, people can earn a Sport Pilot License with just 20 hours of flight training. The LSA, or Light Sport Aircraft category, limits these smaller planes to an altitude of 10,000 feet, a speed of 138 miles per hour, and a maximum of two people in the cockpit. There's a lot of what the Wright brothers were about, which is, which is in us, the icon. And there's a quote that Orville Wright said that I think really embodies a lot of what we're about. And he said back in 1909, he said, the exhilaration of flying is too keen and the pleasure is too great for it to be neglected as a sport. Hawkins recruited what he calls a rock star team of designers and engineers, including Steen Strand, an expert in product design. From concept to prototype, the Icon A5 project took several years of hard work. Using a composite construction of carbon fiber, the Icon team first molded two halves of the fuselage, brought them together, added the engine, the wings, and instrumentation. On June 11, 2008, the prototype was unveiled to a group of invited guests in the back lot of the company's headquarters. The Icon A5 took its first flight on Lake Isabella, California on July 9th of 2008, and since then the plane has undergone rigorous testing. The wings, which measure 34 feet from tip to tip, can be folded manually or automatically. The plane can be stored in a garage. And one of the best features of the A5 is that it can be towed in a trailer, just like you'd haul a boat. Icon also offers a parachute as an option. If you get the parachute option, there's the handle here. Now you don't plan on using that, but it's kind of like an airbag. The A5 comes with a 100 horsepower liquid and air-cooled motor, and the plane can reach a top speed of 120 miles per hour. The instrument panel has a sports car look. Icon is in the midst of an aggressive marketing campaign to generate interest in the new A5, including being here at the Los Angeles Boat Show to promote their new amphibious light sport aircraft.
but it's a really, really cool time. Because now, I, I mean, we see it as like the sort of shackles, the handcuffs have been taken off of aviation now. Dozens of articles have been written on the A5. There's been a slew of TV and internet stories. But the ICON team faces some big challenges. The economic downturn and competition. In 2006, there were only a couple dozen models of light sport planes. Now, manufacturers are making more than 75 different models. Few of these planes are amphibious, but ICON's true competitive advantage is in the aesthetics. It has a sports car design that's extremely functional. So will the ICON A5 stay aloft during these turbulent times? The turnout at the unveiling and the constant fan mail that ICON receives are good indicators that these planes will continue growing in popularity.